we really have the most incredible technology in our pockets and it is the technology that could have us being inactive. It is also the technology that can keep us moving. Lindsay Cook is the co-founder and CEO of FitOn. Hi guys, my name is Bree. Welcome to FitOn. A fitness app launched in 2019, which Cook says has attracted more than 10 million users to date. There are a lot of different fitness apps out there, but the reason why you started FitOn was because they didn't meet your needs. So how is FitOn meeting your needs and all the other people out there who, who are like you? Yeah, we really wanted to build the most premium health and fitness platform. We even work with celebrities as well. So we have Gabrielle Union and Julianne Huff and Jonathan Van Ness on the platform. And we really make these bite-sized workouts that are really perfect for you trying to fit fitness into your every day. You got this. We're all in this together. With a database of nutritional information as well as workouts, my Fitness Pal, an app released in 2005, tracks a user's diet and exercise. We use so much technology to help us be more productive and to help us understand what's working. Uh, in the same way that you might use a mapping software to help you find directions to uh, a nearby town. At My Fitness Pal, we often ask ourselves, why wouldn't we use those same tools to help us understand what's happening in our own body on a daily basis. Trisha Hahn, the newly appointed CEO of MyFitnessPal, says that more than 200 million users are on the platform. So you might be a person, for example, who has a gluten allergy, or you might be a person who is training for a marathon. And a lot of times those nutrient needs for those two individuals are very, very different. Maryland-based Swerkit is another play in the fitness app space with its focus on customizing a user's workout. We kind of think about it almost like a music player, uh, but for exercise. What we've done is we've actually filmed individual exercises. So we have nearly a thousand exercises that we can put together in any order that we want and in any order that our customer wants. You've called fit on the democratization of digital fitness. How so? We have hundreds and hundreds of free workouts. It's about just always finding something new that keeps working out fun, taking really the work out of working out. If the pandemic has taught us anything is that we really need our services to be omni-channel, right? Because we never know, are we going to be working from home? Uh, are we going to be working in the office? We need experiences that can meet us where we are. And have fun because it's about enjoying yourself. And a final question that we ask all our guests in the program, is your technology a tech for good and why? Technology very much can be used for good. You can sit there and um, watch movies on your phone, but you can also spend the time being active. It's just really cool when you see um, people, you know, stories come out of, you know, a company that you created. They truly are leveling up their lives. And I don't think there's anything, there's anything better than that. The world is a better place when people are living more active, healthy, and fun lives. And it's definitely adding value and creating good. And so really proud of what it is today and what it will be in the future. I want you to leave feeling like you did something you didn't think you could do.